What do we have here? I think we have Sekiro. Hey everyone. Yeah, I am officially back with Sekiro content. It's been ages, absolute ages since I've even touched this game, but we have new Sekiro, well, DLC content I'm using um quotation marks because basically the game has received an update we have new costumes i think that's one of the things and we have new um kind of gameplay things oh shit we have a lot of new gameplay things okay we're gonna look through everything but let's run down the list of changes uh, first things first, and this is the big one, which is like really new content, is the boss rush mode. Um, I don't know how it works. The game showed up with the tutorials when I booted it. Uh, apparently you go to a sculptor's idol, and if everything is right, yeah, we can also change form. Yep, yep, yep. Alright, this works exactly as I thought. I don't know if I'm dragon rotted or not, but we'll restore it. So basically you can ac access the boss rush mode. Uh, relive battle with an extraordinary foe, relive a gauntlet of battles with extraordinary foes. And you can also change forms, which are basically skins. We have memories left behind by another, concentrate on the innermost regrets and obsessions, of the blah 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 has no effect on ability. Yeah, this is purely cosmetic, but it's a cool touch. The memory of a shinobi that once served Ashina. It is accompanied by a debt of gratitude to the one who took his arm and graced him with the name Sekijo. So this is, if my lore interpretations are to be believed, this is what we looked like when we went through Ashina. You know, we have that thing where we go back two years into the past that's cool. It's cool because then you can like, you know, do a lore accurate playthrough or whatever. All right. But really, we're here for the gauntlets. Uh, this, by the way, if you don't know, this is my uh, end of the game character. So, okay, we'll, we'll see what he sells. So this is the original first playthrough save file because I thought you know judging other souls DLCs you always need to be at kind of end of the game stage um, which is cool oh yeah you have these as well you can leave uh, basically phantoms now um, which is cool yeah, you always need to be kind of end of the game for Souls content, so I'm assuming this is no different. Anyways, all this long-winded intro is leading to the fact that I'm going to try the boss rush mode. And we'll see what we can do, because I have not played this game in absolute ages. Uh, like a good, good couple of months. So let's see what we have. We have... Gouging tops, the loaded spear, and the long spark. These are okay. And moron draw. Um, which I... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, 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 yeah. Disability. This is pretty good. I think I'm going to stick with this. Let's just do it. Gauntlet of strength. So we have two. Let's try the first one. Who do we have? By reflecting upon his memories, Wolf can perform a series of one-on-one -on -one battles with extraordinary foes he has defeated in the past. <gasps> That's a lot of reading. Defeat at any point will result in a failed attempt returning Wolf to reality. During the reflection, Wolf's attack power is not... Oh, shit! Okay, that's nice, though. So, basically, you're just as you are. Um... I suppose that's good in the fact that you can play this at any time. I like that because, again, this game is, you know, not as level based as any of the other Souls games, but we'll see. Oh, by the way, I placed my face cam there. Well, fuck, fuck am I pointing to? Like, you know, 
you know what I mean. But I think that's the best position because I think the upper left corner is the boss HP position. So we don't want to fuck with that. Oh god, it's been long. It has been so long since I've played this game. This is gonna be... This is gonna be some hot mess of a gameplay. Initially. So the last time I played this game, I streamed it. Uh, and... Yeah. People didn't really watch it. Uh, which is a little bit embarrassing. So I kind of stopped. I still got hit by that. Okay, get the fuck out of dodge. Shit, how do you heal? It's up, right? So the fact that I've forgotten how to heal... Or I had to remember how to heal... Does not bode well for this playthrough, does it? I think you can scare the horse, can't you? Yeah, I need to like remember the controls. What does what? Shit. Shit, how did I get... I, I thought I blocked that. Mm, interesting question is, do you have 8 healing items for the entire thing? Or it's is it per boss? I guess this is just the stuff that we will need to discover as we go along. It's not the one. Okay, I think I managed to get one HP bar down. Yeah. Okay, so obviously... I'm going to hopefully... Improve as we go along. I mean, the fact that I have these, like, end level skills... Including Moron Draw... Is helpful. It's not going to be as helpful if this is all we get for the entire gauntlet. Then I am fucked. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to remember. Shit, which one is that? Is that the jump one? Shit, I got kicked by a horse. Man, this game is fun. You know, playing it, holy shit. What the fuck? Let's try to see your bitch ass horse do that. I'm I'm okay, right? Yeah, I'm okay. I'm okay. Yeah, bitch. Oh I'm out. I'm out of everything. Motherfuck. What is he doing? He insta killed me. I don't remember that attack. I have heard through the grapevine that they've added new stuff to the boss to the bosses, like new attacks. I think that might have been one of them. I was close. I was close. Alright then. And this is where you can go... Yeah, this is where you can do individual uh, bosses. I guess you can like really become... You know, like... Used to the bosses. One unfortunate thing I've seen... Just looking at the list there... It doesn't appear you can fight bosses you have not faced in the story, which is a little bit disappointing. Because I thought that this would be like the perfect uh, opportunity to look at the bosses for the bad ending without ever like, like actually having to do the bad ending. But oh well, I ain't giving up.
This is a cool boss. I'm trying to. Because I like... Shit. I knew I had this guy. Like... I remember... Yeah. I thought that was gonna work. The... Thing I mean. What is going on? I don't know what the hell happened there. But I didn't get hit. And really... Shit. I got owned even quicker. Damn. This game is pretty difficult. <laughs> yeah, it's the thing, like, this game is obviously, as many people know, is way different to any of the other Souls games, so... I think it's understandable that I'm mm, dying. Plus, it's for sure the game I've played the least, overall. Let's check out the other one. Guardian Ape, Great Shinobi Owl, True Monk, Genichiro, and Not Reached. Let's try this one. Let's try this one. Kyobu armor stripping. If that's what you're into, I got you. <laughs> I've never had that thing come up. Consumables using different. Yeah, okay. See, I'm okay with that. The question is what's up with, you know, in between stuff? I distinctly remember that there was a trick to this guy as he wipes my HP in one hit. There was some... Oh shit. Yeah, there was definitely a trick to him. Man, the Moron Blade does well. Like, the thing, if I remember correctly, the thing is he only has, like, two attack patterns. Like, combos, and... You can kind of exploit it. Alright, two or three. I think I got killed. I did not get killed. I get... I Well, you know. Fucking hell. Was this game always this difficult? Or, you know, jumping back in after months and immediately going to some fairly difficult bosses is maybe not the smartest idea. Man, I cannot wait for the fucking PS5. Because... I was just about to mention the annoying thing about this is you have to wait for this thing to load every single time you die. Twice, actually. Because it has to load out and load back in. And... That's something apparently our good old PlayStation 5 can help in. Because the load times are not shit. I'm gonna be so excited for it. The fact that it's fully backward compatible, or al almost fully, like 90%, it's gonna be good. The only thing that's left now is to actually be able to procure one, to use the technical term. Um, Thursday is the day. We'll see what happens. What the fuck? Is there like a way you can like restart? No, you cannot. 
It is incredible how shitty I am apparently at this game. Oh fuck. There we go. I did not mean to do, do the Moron Blade. That was accidental, but at this point I'll take it. Fuck. I'm not getting them dope-ass counters. That's the issue. Fucking hell. See, I'm used to being a lot better at Souls games normally. It's a little bit sad. It is a little bit sad. I wonder if I was playing this game, like, if I just booted up a new playthrough and got to this point, if I'd find this game, uh, this boss this difficult. This is like, literally boss number one if you don't count the, the mini bosses. So yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna like really try getting at least one. I ain't leaving here without at least one boss kill. But yeah, this is the thing that could get annoying. I'm imagining if you keep doing this, these fucking load times are gonna kill you. But again... Again... Mr. Five is gonna help with that. That's what I'm looking for. That's not what I'm looking for. Oh shit, I'm on the ground. Let's be careful of the stamina. Shit. I did the wrong button. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Pull in. Couldn't do it. Fucking hell. I thought that's only a phase two thing. Oh man, I got... Hmm, still got hit by that. Cool. It's phase one down. Yeah, I almost had that the first time around. I almost had oh shit. Heal. Thank fuck he ran past me. Oh, oh, it's a grab. It's a grab. I think you have to jump that maybe. At least that killed me completely, like... Fuck. I completely failed on all three of those counters. Well done, me. Man, I keep, I you know, I'm getting too aggressive. I should attack a little bit less. Oh, I thought that was still... Thought he was gonna do his grab again. Don't even think about killing me. I'm gonna get one boss. Ah, 
I got him. Victory is mine. Press the button. Brutal. I love that kill. It has a new cinematic angle as well. Or maybe I just got lucky. Sorry, Horso. Even though you took the brunt of the assault. It's not gonna let me... It's not gonna refill. <laughs> this is definitely not gonna let me refill my HP. Or my healings, right? I am... Almost a hundred percent sure on that. It does. Because there is a break. Now we go to Lady Butterfly. Shit. Well, okay. That, that at least makes it... I'm sure there's some or already some crazy fucker out there who's done like the entire thing without healing or getting hit once. It's just how the Souls community is. Okay, I'm a little bit more familiar with her. Yeah, I remember this trick. And using the fucking uh, shurikens to knock her out of the air. I don't know if that attack used to exist before. I don't remember her having a grab. Oh, okay, that was the sweep. So she has a sweep and a grab, right? I think. Shit. Stop dodging. This isn't souls. Yeah. It's gonna knock me back to the start, right? That's how it works. Man, this is tough. Especially, again, with current circumstances. I'll try it one more time. We'll give it a good old college try. It's fun, though. It's fun. I mean, honestly, the best part of any Souls game are the bosses, I would say. I think most people would agree. And Sekiro has great bosses. Although I do like Sekiro's overall gameplay as well. So, you know, it's the best of both worlds. I'm just glad that this game got something, you know. It always felt a little bit... I don't know, shitty that this game never ever got anything, you know. People were putting so much hope in to having some sort of DLC but it just never it just never materialized and with this at least we have something for closure you know um we'll ha we'll see how they play demon souls whether demon souls is going to get the sixth arch stone that's the that's a real question, you know. It sure looks like it would. I've seen clips of the new menu screens, uh, which like show world tendency and shit. And it definitely displays the archstone, the sixth archstone, fairly prominently. 
Oh, come on, fuck. I really thought I had that. Motherfucker, this guy is difficult, honestly. Fuck your horse. That's what I've been trying to do for a while now. So yeah, the sixth archstone is displayed so prominently that I'm very suspicious that we're gonna be getting DLC. Oh, that was very cinematic. Oh, he's doing the jump. That's a, fu that's a fucking funny anime. <laughs> oh, how did I avoid that? But we'll see, we'll see. I am still hopeful for Demon Souls, um, as in, it's gonna be good. Brutal! This guy's brutal. Oh no, fuck! No, 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 no! <sighs> So whenever he charges, that's when he does that. Fuck. Okay, get as far away from him as you can. Oh man, he's difficult to hit too. What are you? I was gonna reach, pull myself in. Damn. Well, I think we've learned something. I think we've learned that I have forgotten how to play Sekiro officially. It's fun. Again, this is an entertaining little side activity. Honestly, if I was in the middle of a normal Sekiro playthrough and... or I just finished playthrough number one and I tried this, I probably could uh, do a little bit better. It's, again, it's been months, months since I've played. I, I'll have to, like, look it up, like, when I last played. Editing Mr. Sketchhead, put it right there. Put it right there. When did you play Sekiro the last time? We'll see, we'll see. That's the number, that's the date right there. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here. I know, this was not the most kind of... Well, it was action-filled, it was less progress-filled. Still, as I said during that load screen. The fact that Sekiro got some sort of update and some sort of quote-unquote DLC content and some sort of closure is really appreciated. The fact that this was free is just, you know, bonus. Um, so I think FromSoft can be commanded for doing this um, because, again, it's been it's strange that this game never received any love in the DLC department, but hey, who am I to judge anything? Sekiro is awesome. I really like this game, so I should I sh I should go back to it. In fact, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna go through a normal play, not in YouTube or anything. Just I'll play, I'll play with myself, as they say. You know, <laughs> play mice. Well, okay, let's not take that joke any further. Um, thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this little Sekiro post post everything content. Hope to see you next time as well. Streams are going to be going soon. Demon Souls maybe next week? Kingsfield? I don't know. It's all up in the air. So make sure to like, comment on the video, turn on post notifications as always. And yeah, 
Goodbye. See you.